Sergio, last week, put the boots to Brewski. And you see the man, he's in sis, he's in flame, and he's on his way to get his hands on Chris Cage. Oh, he's amped up tonight. Lord knows what he's had. 269 pounds from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I got a Brewski. Ruben Ramos will have his hands full. I'm telling you that. But Brewski has to keep an eye not only on Cage, but also on Sergio on the outside. Well, we finally get rid of the, of the Mexican hour out here tonight. Now what I got? Polacks. Brewski, the bar fighter. Brewski, very well known from in every bar between uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and Louisville, Kentucky. Right down the side, headlock from Chris Cage. And is there pride to be taken in that, that you're known from every bar? from Louisville to Milwaukee. Where's the pride in that at? Well, you get a free drink every once in a while, I guess it'll work for you. Right now, trying to win the shoulder tackle is Chris Cage, and he's unsuccessful with the big man, Brewski. Big close line, scoops Cage up, plants Cage. Well, you're getting free dinners from here to Milwaukee, that's one story. Free liquor, come on. Brewski right now with a big fist into the chin of Chris Cage, the Irish whip on Cage, falls him in with a short close line, and Cage took every bit of that. All I know is that Chris Cage needs to put an end to this Polak once and for all. Sober him up, get him in rehab, put him in AA, not triple A. We don't want him driving anything. But AA would be a good idea. AA right across the ring goes Chris Cage. Brewski measures him, comes in. Whoa! Oh my goodness! Well, that my was about Lord. 100 miles an hour. Dumb Polak, what can I say? This is not a smart guy. A boot from Chris Cage, another one. I mean, even Lose if the one, two, even and Bruski kicks out. Even if he had hit Cage, he was going to do a lot of damage to himself on that. I mean, he was going, he was, he was legit going 35 miles an hour across that ring. Fueled on what? I don't know. Beside me. On oh, kicks out goes Bruski. Chris Cage on top, one fist after another to Cage. the forehead of I got a Brewski. Cage is taking it upon himself to beat some sense into him, beat some soberness into him, beat the liquor out of him, just stunk the bejesus out of him, maybe smarten him up, maybe make him make a, a vow today to quit drinking, change his life around, turn into a Christian athlete just like Chris Cage. Oh, a big fist from Chris Cage, and all you're doing right now is making Brewski mad. Rope from momentum and the headbutt into the into the chest of Chris Cage from I got a Brewski. Brewski right now measuring big double ox handle across the chin. Another one to the chin of Chris Cage. A third one. The cover hooks the far leg. One, two. Chris Cage kicks out. Yeah, it's going to take a little more than that to soften up Chris Cage. And Cage will be doing him a favor. Who knows what type of women this guy's been taking home, all liquored up and everything like that. You know your vision goes. When oh, man, Bruce you can tell good that. He's probably been taking home women that look like what's in our studio audience out here tonight, and that's sad. Right across the ring, Sergio had something wound up. Oh, Bruce, you saw that coming. Oh, oh man, baby. the last call on Chris Cage. That's the trouble. Leg. One, two, three. Your winner. I got a Brewski. Brewski victorious. He's all proud of himself. Brewski has laid out Chris Cage. God, Josie, you look incredible. Hey, Susio, are you ready for that announcement in the ring? Let's go. Let's let's get it, let's get it over with right now. Uh, see, Josie, we can't exactly do that in the ring. 
but I figure here's as good of a place as anywhere else. I mean, I, I kind of spent all my money on these tights, and I really don't, I can't, I can't afford some ring time right now. Wait a second. You bought new tights, yeah. but you don't have money for ring time. Well, Whatever. Josie, it's, it's not the tights I'm here to talk about. Look, I know I asked you to be your business manager, but Josie, I, I can barely manage my own career. What I really want to know is, will you go out with me on Friday night? <laughs> Uh, you can't even deliver on ring time and you want to go out with me. Yeah. I don't think you understand that I'm kind of a big deal around here, I'm kind of doing big things. Uh, if you can't deliver for me professionally, what are you going to do for me personally? Uh, and new ring tights? I think a little more than that to impress me. Wow. Do for me personally? I think I still got a chance. Nice. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is what it's all about. Susio, obviously, week after week, he just wanted a date. Let me explain something to you. I can tell by the twinkle in her eye, this thing ain't over yet. She's just playing a little hard to get. She wants him to play the game. He can get her. She up can next, be had. Up next, here to champion, Anthony Bravado. Don't go away. Rudy Switchblade, Los Locos. You guys think November 1st, Campbellsville, Kentucky, you're going to take out Jamin Olivencia, APOC, and Al Barone? Well, guess what? You got another thing coming. Forget about it. <laughs> November 1st, there's going to be a war. And the battleground is going to be Cattlesville, Kentucky. Jamin Olivencia, APOC, and Al Barone. We step in the ring. It's going to be all about Eastside LA and those locals all day.